people have given credit to Grand Theft Auto 3 for being one of the first open world games. But months prior, um, there was a game called Elder Scrolls 3, Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind being in development. Released in 2002, had more variables than Grand Theft Auto 3 or Vice City did. You could talk to people, have entire conversations with them, uh, learn magic, levitation, and stuff like that with a beautiful, creative, and open uh, world called Vardenfell. This was the game to play, where you are the reincarnation of the Nerevarin, sent as a prisoner to free Morrowind of the plague, of the plague of, plagued by, um, Dagoth Ur, and you had to fight him, you had to go to the, um, yeah, the volcano, which is the heart of, da has the heart of Dagoth Ur, and you have to fight him as an immortal god, but there were five different houses, political houses of Morrowind, that disagreed. Only one of them agreed that you were the reincarnation of this hero. And so you, in this game you get to know the entire Dark Elf culture, fight striders, a whole bunch of stuff, and this game was epic. You could learn magic, mysticism, levitation, and visit the island that's floating, the, the meteorite, basically it is a meteorite, that's floating above Vardenfell, uh, learn levitation to do so, and this game is epic, and I would highly recommend to anybody about this game. I would tell everyone about this game. This was the set kicker for the Elder Scrolls. If you haven't played Arena, Daggerfall, or Battlespire, uh, 1994, 1996, and 1997, then you should get into 2002-2003 Ultimate Edition of Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind. Because this game is kick-ass. This was Todd Howard's very first Elder Scroll, and his favorite game of all time was the openness and revolutionary game engine and mechanics of Grand Theft Auto 3. That was his number one game. So you could kind of make sense when you that kind of makes sense when you play through Morrowind and you see this revolutionary open world um, taking notes from. Uh, Grand Theft Auto 3. So, this is the game. This was the game. And its sequel was pretty good. Um, not as good. The open world wasn't as good, but it made up for it with the fantastic, um, fantastic voice acting of, pa of Star Trek and X-Men's Patrick Stewart playing as Emperor. 